So what is going on, so it's video, and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved. So, uh, for the most part, what's been going on lately is, uh, well, first off, we got some annoying little dilos over here that we need to brutally murder before they break in our house. Of course, as you can see here, we're actually using a pike, and I'll kind of explain what's been going on in a second. So hopefully this game stops obnoxiously lagging, probably from the 20 dinosaurs we have crowded into this pen. Uh, yeah, we really should do something about that. Anyways, uh, I mean, at the very least, we should probably get some stuff off this thing. I will be telling you guys pretty much the situation for the time being. So, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, uh, there's a little, uh, little, little special someone I want to introduce you guys to. It is going to be nearly impossible to introduce you guys to him because A, it is laggy as titties, and B, it is extremely crowded around here. So, I'm actually going to move Captain Crunch, which I believe to be uh, Kyle's new mounts. He tamed a couple of parasaurs that seem to be stuck inside of my pteranodon. Pteranodon. Great! He managed to get his parasaur stuck in my pteranodon. Anyways, here you go, guys. In all of his beauty, it's Terry. Also, I have no clue why the text box here is not showing up, or why it's like doing auto text box. It should hopefully hide. I don't know why, it's just kind of chilling there, and it's actually pretty obnoxious. Actually, I have absolutely no clue why that's happening. Is there, did I uncheck an option or something? Chat bubbles, auto chat box, hmm. That's very weird, maybe if we like press enter and then enter again, I don't know. Anyways though, here we have Terry in all of his beauty. Uh, I tamed this little guy on stream, and he's gonna be a Pteranodon, which is actually the correct pronunciation of it, and there we go, it disappeared. Uh, the correct pronunciation is Pteranodon. Not pterodon, like I was saying, or it's definitely not pterodactyl, because people have been saying the uh, crest on the head differentiates it from the rest of its species, which is what makes it a pteranodon instead of a pterodactyl, which, you know, I guess that makes sense. I'm not the dinosaur expert. I just play dinosaur games and kill things and tame them. That, that's what I do, but yeah. He's tearing all of his beauty, and hopefully one day we'll be able to get him unstuck. Uh, but who knows how long that day will take, because... Uh, yeah, this is, this pen is be getting to be a massive mess. Seriously, as time goes on, it only gets worse and worse. I don't even know how we're gonna get Rex out of here. Looks like there's a dino orgy going on, hold up. Can we get plums out of here at least? Okay, no, he's, he's seemingly getting rammed by the trike. There we go, okay. Uh, if I can't get Rex out of here, I'm going to be very salty because we kind of need Rex to do anything. Okay, Rex can get out. First things first, we're getting Rex the hell out of here. Because this is an ugly neighborhood, and we're going to be using Rex anyway for our adventures today, so... Rex, get the hell out of that clusterfuck. Speaking of the devil, we can level up Rex a little bit more. As you can see, Rex is going to be a very strong and healthy raptor. With ridiculously high stamina, for the most part, I'm only trying to level up the stamina so we can run immense distances with him. Since that is pretty much his main purpose, is just being a fast mount to go long distances. And, uh, let's see if we can close the door. Maybe now that there's a little bit of room, we can get, like, the stupid Pteranodon out? No, he is stuck inside of Terry. How did this happen? I'm going to be very angry if Terry cannot get free. Okay, let's, let's, Terry. Terry, there we go. Uh, yeah, follow me for a bit and see if you can get unstuck. There we go. Uh, okay, so Terry got unstuck. Now we just gotta get him to come down. No, he, he, he flew into the gate. Well, well crap, alright, well, let's move Captain Crunch here. Sorry for this random organization, but uh, this dino pet is going to be a m disaster. But yeah, there's our Pteranodon in all of its glory. And let's tell him to, to stop following so he just chills somewhere. So anywhere. Or stick your head in the wall too. Yeah, but that's our beautiful Pteranodon. He's our baby. And actually, I do want to level him up a bit because with Pteranodons, the main thing you want to work on leveling up at least my knowledge is going to be stamina. So here we already have a couple levels. We just want to up the hell out of his stamina. So you can see his stamina isn't the highest thing in the world, and that's understandable because we just got him and he was pretty new. But uh, oh my god, he actually has a lot of meat on him. Uh, oh, that's all the meat we let spoil. That's awkward. Anyways, uh, for the most part, you do want to up their stamina so you can. I just bit my tongue. Oh my god, that hurt. Uh, uh, you do want to up their stamina for the most part, so you are able to fly longer distances with them, because as is, they're not really a long distance flying mounts, but that should be relatively fixable, if that's kind of what you focus on, so that is kind of the good news. Here of Donatello, which I believe to be Eat My Diction's turtle, because he plays on the server, and he tamed it, so, uh, yeah, there we go. Now then, let's close that up, and, okay, we have Rex, 
And we're good to go. We introduce you guys to Terry, which we will be getting a saddle slash mount for, hopefully, by next episode. Uh, I have a demo. He's the highest level in the tribe. He's the only one who can make Pteranodon slash, yeah, Pteranodon mounts. And uh, unfortunately, at the time being, he's not on, so we couldn't really do that. But yeah, that's that's the thing. Anyways, that oops, sorry about that. A little something happened. A little bit of a hiccup there with the story. Anyways, yeah. So where was he going? Here we have this. We have a simple bed, which I'm going to kind of explain what our adventure is going to be, which I believe we're going to venture on in the next episode. We have to go into first person. As you can see here on our map, we have home base, relatively right there, kind of around that river slash waterfall. Then we have the south cave. That's the cave we explored in the last couple of videos with everyone. Then we have cave number two. So. What ended up happening is I was not here when everyone else ventured to Cave 2. And as such, I'm planning on going on my own expedition there. It might have to be solo. Uh, I might enlist some help from like Demo or something, depending on if he's on when I do it. If not, though, we're going to be venturing off to Cave 2 on our own. And uh, that is why I have this simple bed in my inventory. So that way we can throw the simple bed down on a little bit of a thatch foundation, which we will craft. And, you know... If and probably when we die, we'll be able to do that. Also, I, I painted my guy to be beautiful. Look at that purple belt. He looks like a he looks like a hybrid between Ronald McDonald, Santa Claus, an elf, and God knows what other monstrosities. Anyways, it's beautiful though, isn't it? Uh, Food-wise, is doing pretty good for the most part. My diet's consisted of Amar berries from our uh, trikes. We've been gathering a bunch of them, and yeah, so. Like I was saying with the Pteranodon, what we are going to have to do is actually one of the big things we have to do is get uh, Chitin, which is another reason why we're going to the caves to hopefully farm Chitin, and I think Cave 2 actually has a lot more scorpions and uh, Chitin yielding animals than Cave 1 had, which is kind of a good reason for going there. Right now, as you can see, we're kind of chilling on our raptor, and I mean, you guys have yet to see his, like, killing mentality, but look at what he can do to a little baby Dilo here. Take this motherfucker out, easy. There you go, then we can harvest them some nice little hide. Not sure. Oh, is that a and is that another Velociraptor there? Or is it a Dilo? That is a Dilo. I kinda get Velociraptors and Dilos mixed up. Speaking of that, it was horrifying. There were like five uh not Velociraptor. Raptor, my bad. Velociraptors are two to three two to three feet tall. I've been told that on numerous occasions. I just happen to say Velociraptor sometimes on accident. I know it's not a Velociraptor. I know it's a Raptor. Anyways. Uh there were like five raptors stuck at the bottom. Of the freaking waterfall. It was horrifying. I was like, okay, I'm going back in the base. I'll I'll be back later. And that's where we went. Anyways, uh, so like I was saying, we are going to have to go turtle hunting a little bit. And for that, arrows are probably going to be a good thing. Can we craft any? Uh, yes, we should be able to craft actually a couple. Really? Oh, wow, we have a lot of thatch. If we just get a good chunk of flint here, so might as well capitalize upon this pretty, pretty easy opportunity to just hit this up a little bit. Our guy is actually freezing. What? I've never had my guy freeze before. That is actually very odd. Usually he's having a goddamn heat stroke in this weather and all of his hide. And now, apparently, he's freezing to death. That is odd, to say the least. What the hell? That's actually really weird. Alright, well, there we should have got a good chunk of flints. And that should be... Again, a good chunk of arrows. And with crafting arrows, as you can see here, every time we craft an arrow... We do get just a little bit of XP. I think it's only like 0.1 maybe for arrows, but nonetheless, it's arrows, it's XP. Now then, I want to do is we're going to go turtle hunting. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, how high level is this turtle to? Level 1. If we mess this up, there's something wrong with us. I'm, for the most part, I do want to also find out how much it takes to take out a turtle with arrows. I mean, this is a pretty good baseline. It's just a level 1 turtle. Uh, it's kind of hard to go wrong here, although turtles are... Oh, wow, we missed that. Turtles are cold... Oh my god, we missed that again. T turtles, bleh, are cold-blooded killers. I like As you guys saw in some of the earlier single-player videos, these things can take out, you know, they can take out your dinos. It's definitely possible. And uh, he seems to be squealing for dear mercy. I don't know how that's going to go. Come on, you turtle. I'm going to, like, back up. Yeah, look at this thing. This thing's a tank. It is, like, so hard to kill. We actually... Worst case scenario. It's not even worth using steel arrows on the damn... Th damn it, our bow broke. Okay, that's not good. Uh, you know what? Time to take out the pike. Which I will explain how we got in a bit, and hope to god that we don't die. Damn it. They do a lot of damage too, as you can see. Okay, okay, we killed it, we killed it. Whew. And then, we want to try to get chitin from it. Or not chitin, we want to try to get its keratin for the saddle. 
You're gonna now soon realize why this is a struggle. From one turtle, we get one keratin. That's what we're working with. Turtles can, at times, barely give you anything. Uh, it's kind of very unfortunate that it has to be the case because uh, that means it's going to do a lot of grinding. And I think for the saddle, we are going to go over here to Demo's body. No, let's not open that. Let's go to Demo's body. And as you can see on his body, he has already a little bit of keratin. I've been dropping off a little bit here as well. And uh, yeah, definitely a little bit of a struggle. I think he needs 70 to 75. And same with Chitin, except we don't have Chitin. However, what he does have here is a little selection of guns. So, why not take this opportunity? There's no ammo for it, unfortunately. But nonetheless, we have ourselves a sniper rifle that we could very well have used if we wanted to. However, as you can see, we don't have any ammo. And we really don't learn how to craft it up until higher levels. Uh, by the looks of it, if we, I mean, as you can see, we are absolutely storing engrams up our butthole right now, too. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, let's see, I think demo we learns it at 35. I think that's where you learn how to make the ammo, so... We got a little bit to go, and, uh, you know, otherwise we could po Oh shit, no, 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 we're starving, we're starving, we're starving. That's not good, that's not- Uh, let's get some meat cooking on a fire. Do we even have a fire? Oh yeah, right there. Let's get some meat cooking on this fire in the meantime. And, uh, I guess we'll just throw some thatch on there. And just try to get shit cooking for the time being, but yeah. Look at this thing, this thing is badass as hell. We can't really zoom in or anything, but nonetheless... We have our hands on a, we have pretty much have our hands on the sniper rifle, which is actually called the long neck rifle, but yeah, repairing requirements, it takes metal ingots, wood, hide, it's like, it takes a lot, and it has a scope on it too, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. So, how effective it is, from what people have been saying, as in like people in the tribe, it's not the greatest thing, but nonetheless, it's a gun, and guns are super cool, but pretty much everyone's saying, like, the bow is your best friend at this point, and that the guns really aren't too viable, albeit, I mean, like, well, this thing would definitely come in handy, like, long-distance fighting if you're trying to take out an enemy rushing towards you from a ways. There's, like, a giant T-Rex in the distance that is, for a fact, you know, coming to go destroy your base. You can start volleying shots off pretty early. It, is, it can be pretty versatile, but nonetheless, uh, your bow and arrow, which we can actually repair, uh, is going to be... Your best friend for the most part. Now then, whenever this decides to be done, there we go. Access the inventory. Let's get a little bit more cooked meat here and make sure we don't starve to death. Also, get our health up after that uh, frightening encounter with the turtle. And we might actually level up today as well, which would be a nice way of capping off the day. And uh, like I said, hopefully tomorrow we're able to venture off. And as long as we don't die, because there's some sort of weird glitch that happens. I'm not sure what it is. It's like at the bottom of the floor. What happens is, like, depending on where you log off, sometimes when you respawn, you'll just be dead. I've had that happen to me. I, it's some sort of a glitch. Uh, Demo and them are alright for now, as you can see here. He actually had chitin armor. He had quite a bit of chitin armor, but he's resorted back to his hide. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, like I said, I look fabulous. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, he's got a bunch of metal stuff and all of this. For the most part, he's been getting it from, uh, what is it? He's been getting a lot of this stuff from, I believe, airdrops. The... I don't want... No, Blue's 25. I think it's... Purple airdrops are level 35, which you can now get. And purple airdrops actually contain uh, some of these higher level stuff like guns. I remember I was actually running to an airdrop with him, and he ended up getting a shotgun. So, I mean, if you want to get a quick peek at that, I'll put the long neck rifle away. Let's put the shotgun on and equip this bad boy. And as you can see... Pretty badass. Nice little double barrel here. No ammo, so we can't accidentally kill someone in our base. Kind of a good thing. I mean, we all probably know I'd go on a rampage or, or something of the sort. And then we got the little simple little pistol again. Not really anything huge. Although it appears to be gold, which is pretty badass. Now let's put that thing back away. And I mean, yeah, for the most part, I got Trank Arrows too, which I did use to take out the uh, little bastard, the Pteranodon. I used Trank Arrows to take him out. We got some water skins, but I already got those ready and rearing to go. And then we got the Pike, which uh, I believe he got at a higher level. And the Primitive pipe, Pike is actually a lot better. 
It cannot be thrown like the spear, but this thing actually has durability and it's very good. Uh, I'm going to try and have this thing with us when we go exploring into the caves. And actually, it might be a good call for us to go and repair it now as well. Uh, sorry that we didn't really go out and do much this episode, but we are running so long. I just want to give you guys some updates on what is going on and what we will be doing. However, next episode, completely plan on us. And on over to Cave 2 over there. It'll be a bit of an adventure. And uh, probably build just a nice spawning bed outside. And then we'll go inside and explore. Because I, I have no clue what's in there. I've heard things, but I don't know. Anyways, though, uh, let's take these. And at the very least, let's repair this damn thing. And just, we'll call it ours for the time being. I mean, why not, right? Who, who's gotta know? No one. It'll be our dirty little secret, right? Me and you. Alright, this is between us. I'm pointing at my webcam that is not on. But it's between us. Alright, and that's what it's going to be between. Again. Now then, let's get to the rest of these shenanigans. And uh, hopefully within the next episode 2, we are able to fly. I mean, it would be amazing if we could fly to the cave. Oh, that'd be so cool to take our Pteranodon out for a spin that way. That'd be the best way ever. I mean, there's a rift we could head on to over there too, but I am running a bit short on time. And recording this a bit later than I should be, to be honest. So, uh... Yeah, uh, where's our raptors? Did we park them? Oh, he's outside. We're star- wait, we're starving again? What happened to all that meat we got? Jesus Christ. We're gonna have to throw some of this wood on that fire to make sure we don't die- Dang it, damn it. Wanna close the door make sure we don't die either. Starvation is a struggle. Star can confirm. And also being cold is a struggle. Uh, what was I gonna do? Let's throw the fire on there. Gonna bring about a boom. Use the cooked meat. And we're looking to be in good shape. And we got we still got the slingshot, which I mean we could always bring. So apparently the bats and stuff in the caves are actually tameable as well. So who knows? One day we'll definitely go back and try to tame one of the little bastards. In the meantime, though, let us repair this pike, get a little bit of XP for it. How do we repair it? We just click it, right? There we go, click the pike. Uh, we can't repair it yet. Oh. Do we have to be using the workbench or something? We might have to. Maybe? No. Huh. Or no, maybe. Uh, yes. Repair item. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we just gotta be using the workbench. See, we're learning. We're learning things. This is going pretty well. Uh, and there you go. We got ourselves a pike. It's not our pike, but whatever. You know, Demo will find it one day. And if not, well, we benefit from that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is the workbench. And then we also got this fabricator recently which has some like advanced shit in it like the polymer electronics stone and stuff so it's like i don't know there's some interesting stuff in the future and this is kind of just a little bit of a teaser so stay hyped guys because there's going to be some awesome stuff in the coming episodes and i mean ultimate goals of course end game wise we're, we're going to take out the bird mother take out the dragon there's so much stuff for us to do and hopefully you guys do stick around and watch this evolve but uh, that is going to do it for me for now though so thank you guys so much for watching the video Hope you did enjoy it. As always, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Sign out. Love you guys. See ya.